but I just like playing games and making videos, and so that's what I'm doing. Alright, so I don't know how many games we've played. I'm guessing like four or five, probably more though. I don't remember. Um, we're 21 minutes into this, so that's a couple episodes, you know? Probably like two. But hopefully, my friend gets on soon and we can, uh, you know, he can uh, help me out. He's been helping me lately. Appreciate it. I'm actually gonna. I actually know him in real life, and I'm gonna give him some controllers and uh, a free game as a as a thank you. And then uh, when Grand, Grand Theft Auto Five comes out, we're gonna be going to the midnight release, which is gonna be pretty sweet. Uh, if you guys want, just let me know in the comments or something. I will uh, film some midnight release stuff for you guys because um, our midnight release is kind of, in my opinion, it's pretty special because it's not like just a regular midnight release. Because the GameStop I go to is right next door to a movie theater. Not like a big movie theater, not like AMC or anything. It's called Cinnabar. It's a little small one. And uh, they let us play the game that is coming out on the big screen, which is cool. Oh, excuse me. So we'll be in there from like 9 to 11.30 playing Grand Theft Auto on the big screen, which would be awesome. And then I'm getting, I got the collector's edition, which is like 150 bucks biggest baddest one you can get probably not worth it because it just comes with like a hat and a duffel bag it looked like but same time I was excited to have you know a good game with the collector's edition I really want the uh, ghosts collector's edition or prestige edition whatever but that's probably gonna be like 200 bucks I will be doing an unboxing of the Grand Theft Auto one though uh, that'll be the first video you guys see my face if you are looking to see the beautiful globe but yeah, so look out for that, man. I'm probably not going to play the game um, the day uh, that it comes out. Or not the day that it comes out, but the, you know, the night I get it, or the morning I get it, whatever you want to look at it. Because, or I might, it depends. If I sleep all day Monday, and then go to the midnight release Monday night, then I might play, you know, Tuesday early morning, like 1, 2, 3, 4 in the morning, something like that. But other than that, I might just go, you know, hang out at the midnight release, chill with everybody, get uh, get the game, come back, go to sleep, play it when I wake up, unbox it when I wake up, I should say. Because one, you know, my parents probably will be asleep, and it'll be hard for me to do the unboxing with them asleep, because I plan on doing it outside uh, on my patio, and that's kind of where they sleep. But we'll see, we'll see. But you can definitely expect uh, the unboxing on... Um, the day that it comes out, the uh, 17th, I think, is when it comes out. You definitely expect it then. You can see the beautiful face of Globert. Globy Glob. Alright, let me shoot you in the dick bag real quick. You just got dick bagged. Man, this, it just, this is so grueling. It just, I don't, I don't want to do it, but I have to do it, you know? I have like this OCD issue with games, and I have to just complete them. Even if I didn't have the OCD, I'd probably still, you know, try to complete it. Because, like I said, I like going for the heart. I like going for the heart achievements. Why do I get so tongue twisted all the time? I just, I might, am I just a newbie at talking? I just, you know, noob it up. I mean, uh, let me give myself a little refill of my cherry coda. Naturally and artificially flavored. Whoa. A mixture of the two. And just drizzle, drizzle that up into my cup, you know. Get it all fizzy. Fizzy up in here. Oh, yeah. That looks good. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, so, if you guys are wondering uh, if I'm going to do a, like, uh, reaction video to me getting the achievements, um, you can definitely expect that. Because I will do Let's Get Achievements on it whenever I know I'm going to get it that day, you know. I'll probably do, like, a big thing. I don't know what medal is going to be last. It's really hard to say, but uh, I'll definitely save one, and then I will. I'll get it live, like, on a, the last episode of Let's Get Achievements for Gears of War 3. Or not last episode, possibly, but, you know, the last one for Series 3.0. 
it's going to be pretty awesome. I'll probably scream like a little girl, take my headset off, you know, run around my room, jump up and down, you know, the whole nine. And then I'll be super excited. And then I'll probably make a guide for it, even though it's a super hard achievement to make. Well, it's not really a hard achievement to make a guide for. It's just it's just super long. You know, I mean, everything pretty much is self-explanatory. I mean, a monkey could follow it, but it's just a matter of giving you guys as much tips as I can to how to get it. The only thing I could really tell you guys, I mean, other than the tips and stuff that I might give, or that you guys might already know, um, it's just you have to be dedicated. I mean, you can't just wake up one day and decide to well you I mean I mean you could like I did that's what I did pretty much woke up one day and was like hey, you know what judgments coming out in a couple of days I might as well just go for three series 3.0 and then it turned out to six months of my life so just to just know what you're getting into otherwise you will just spend a ridiculous amount of hours and time trying to get an achievement that uh, you're not going to fully get otherwise you just be wasting the time you know so if you're gonna you know go for it you need to go for it otherwise it's not even worth it because like I said you'll just spend so many hours and then just give up and you will have spent all those hours for nothing you know what I mean after I got about a month into this I knew I couldn't stop because like I, I spent so much time going into it that are trying to get it that it just was ridiculous I can't believe I thought I would get this before judgment came out at the time I got uh, or at the time I decided to do this judgment was really like 20 days away, and I just, I don't know why I thought I could do that, but I tried, and it got, it was easy at first, you know, because it was just campaign stuff, and uh, Horde and Beast and all that, and that kind of, that kind of stuff is like this, you got, you, blah, blah. Like, I'm just gonna, like, just punch myself for not being able to speak English, but, oh my god, anyway, you, um, it was kind of easy, because, like, you, you know, you just played like I am now, but it was a little more entertaining than multiplayer map, multiplayer map, multiplayer map. It was just, I don't know, it was a little more entertaining. Like, Horde is actually a challenge sometimes, you know, and it's cool because you get to fight different kinds of enemies, but this is just, you know, I mean, I'm getting killed by bots having a great fucking time. Can you tell? It just sucks. But Horde and Beast were alright because, you know, they were kind of a challenge, and they were, like I said, you get to play different shit. It's not just me respawning and trying to kill bots that end up killing me anyway. <laughs> so, and sorry if I'm like, if I sound weird and I sound like a douche Bigelow because, uh, you know, I'm just saying random shit and I just sound weird. But I'm not really that kind of good at the commentating part, you know, of the whole YouTube thing. I love making videos and love playing games, but it's just, I'm not the best commentator. Hopefully I'll get better. I'm pretty sure I will. I mean, if I do anything long enough, you, you'll you get a little better at it. You're, you're bound to get a little better at it. But hopefully you guys don't think I'm that bad. I mean, I hope not. If, I, if you do, I'm sorry, I guess. But yeah, I just, uh, I like making videos and playing games, and sometimes I might not be the best commentator, and I apologize for that. I try. I try my best. All right, let me get a drink of my, my beautiful cherry cola. Don't you just love the liters of soda that are like 89 cents? They're little cheap ones, but they're like, they taste good, but they're 89 fucking cents, dude. That's awesome. I have like four liters sitting in front of me right now because I'm a fat bastard, which you'll see when I do the unboxing of GTA because you'll see how fat of a bastard I really am. <laughs> what kind of sucks is... When I'm doing like a let's play or a let's get achievements, um, it's it's you know like I said earlier, it's like a commentary to me. I'm just commentating over the whole thing, talking about random shit. And for people who are subscribed to me or who watch my videos but don't watch, you know, like let's say let's get achievements, it feels weird because like I'm giving the people who do watch let's get achievements uh, some, you know, like when stuff's gonna happen. You know, like when you're going to see my face and all that. I'm pretty sure I mentioned it in another video, but it's not like a commentary over Call of Duty or something where everyone's like, okay, well, this is an informational video or whatever, telling us when we're going to see his face and all that crap. But it just feels weird because, you know, not all, not every one of my subscribers watches the Let's Get Achievements, and I'm kind of 
saying stuff to the people who are watching Let's Get Achievements that uh, everyone else might not know who watch my videos. I feel like I just didn't make sense right there, but you know what I mean. You can you can tell. Oh my God, this guy's just coming in hot. You can't be coming in hot like that, bro. I mean, you can't do that. That's just cheating. I don't like it. I don't want to play no more. Get away from me. Oh God, you deserved it. Uh, I'm either killing myself or getting killed by bots or you know just sucking. Just, just good old time. Oh man, that was just. I, I wish it was just a funner way to do this. I mean, literally my day of playing games since I've started this achievement consists of turning a uh, turning on my TV, turning on, on my Xbox, of course, and then turning on my radio and just doing this for hours on end, or sometimes just not even playing at all and letting it idle. While I watch TV or something, uh, you know. But what can you do? Do what you got to do. Oh, what do you think you're doing? You're the one shooting, aren't you, you little bastard? Little bastard. Boom, Jack. Uh, 